we can approve the uh, singularity okay, of the elliptic curve. Okay. So, this problem, we have a singularity in the curve. Okay. What it means, singularity is like first of all, we, it's not differentiable, and, and that is not good for us. So, for example, this, in this, in this um, elliptic curve, we can have singularity in anywhere. As long as it's outside of this curve, it's not a problem, right? The problem, though, is if we have singularity or singular point in here, okay? That the uh, quantity of this, the discriminant, has to be different than zero. Okay, so I will start just to take the partial derivative of this, and then we're going to put it equal to zero. Okay, let's go. Let's go see. So the partial of x um, of f of y with respect of x, that is equal to, then the partial with respect to y of the of this, right? Zero. Okay? This is my two partials. Okay, good enough. Okay? Now, negative d, negative a. Negative d, negative e. Mm -hmm. That is the, uh, that is the, that is this part. Now, I'm going to solve for y, and then I'm going to replace back. Okay? It's going to be a little bit of massive, but it's all right. And then, minus d over 2 is 2a, and this is 4ac, and y is equal to, I can replace this value in y, put this value on the other side, and get the value for x, okay? Now, because, because to be, we can prove whether, if it does true, if the partial of f of x and y, of f of x of y, is equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, that's a problem, because that means that the singular point is inside or is in the elliptic curve. The discriminant is different than zero. If this point exists, that means the discriminant is equal to zero. As an example, in this case, it's obvious that the discriminant part it's zero, and this is look like this. So this has one sharp point, and it's called cups, and it's singularity here. Here, the determinant of this part is quite easy to see that the determinant will be equal to 4ac, 4ac minus b squared. Now the question is here, is this equal to zero or is different than zero? If we have a singularity or we don't have singular point in our elliptic curve. If we have, then it's no good for us. It's no good for the application that we wanted to do, which is the, uh, the security part, right? The cryptography based in the elliptic curve. So this part of the elliptic curve arithmetics. Thank you.